Hey everyone, it's Guard, and going for my, what, 17th draft now? The last one was recorded without sound, which is completely my bad. <laughs> I just didn't even realize that it wasn't recording. I don't know what I did to stop it. Uh, but this one I did make sure that, you know, the sound worked before I started recording. <clears throat> but anyway, let's just jump into it. Um, okay, so the funnest card in this pack is Patron of Deep Wood. I, I feel like I just drafted a Patron of Deep Wood deck, like, not that long ago. Uh, and then there's varying degrees of mediocre. Like, I think the next best card's probably somewhere between Cackle Bones, War Machine, Cultivate, and Stitch. Actually, all these cards are pretty much on the same level. I probably... I'm going to pick the Patron here, but I really want to pick the Cultivate and just try to make Cultivate work. Because uh, this is a really fun card. But it's a lot better. Patron's a lot better card. <laughs> uh, so we'll just try to go Mono Uterra again. And what do I want for my Swing Faction? I think Aloyan... Ordnance Captain is really, really, really good. And a lot it's a lot better than all these other cards. And I guess I picked the Bartok here, it's a heroic, it's a you know, Utera. Um these I think I'm gonna default to picking Utera cards unless the Alloying cards are actually very good. Uh, and these ones are not too hot, especially Orion Battle Suit or Scythian Battle Suit, which I'm not even gonna be using. So I'll just take the bear rider and then take the axe warrior. Give my guys trample. Uh, best card in this pack is either Tiller or Herd Mother. I'm gonna pick Herd Mother because I already have a uh, patron of Deepwood. I think I can get um, raid pretty easily in Uterra because I'm gonna be picking up a lot of pretty much every Grove Matriarch I see. And well, I want to pick the Grove Matriarch, but I, I have to pick Fido because this is heroic. It gives me lots of silver. It sucks because uh, I think the pick is very clearly Grove Matriarch, and I. <laughs> This is also why I lose a bunch more on my free-to-play account than I do in my regular. Because <laughs> I, I pick the heroics all the time, because I want the guaranteed silver. Okay, Hunting Pack is not a good card, and Aloyan General is fine, so we're just going to take the General here. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll take the Enforcer, I guess, just because it's a creature, and I, I don't see the, the Battle Suit going anywhere for me. Uh, so it's between Hunter, Serpent, or Assassin. I think Serpent is probably the best option. Hunter is, requires too much, too many creatures to be good. Uh, creatures in play. Okay, so now I'm going to just quit going Mono Uterra because uh, the Alloyan cards are just getting too good right now. I've got three. I'm going to take the Crucible Colossus because it's by far the strongest card in the pack. And if I don't, if I see a bunch of uh, other good Lillian cards, I'm just going to go straight to Lillian. I'm just going to dish this patron. I took the Crusher there because it was the only card worth picking. Uh, just like Oxen Spitter here. Deep Branch Ancient. It's just a heroic. Okay, best heroic in the pack <laughs> is Patron Mammalon. Uh, this card's actually not very good as a patron. It's probably the worst one. It's up there with Patron of Codrus, the Tempest one, as the worst one. Okay, so now I've got uh, the choice of these three. Uh, between I've Herd Mother and the other two, I don't think I have enough cards that work with Raid right now to go with uh, Herd Mother, so that's not the pick. Then between Tiller and Moat Matriarch, uh, Tiller is a little bigger. It ranks 1 and 2. Uh, they're much, much smaller at rank 3. Uh, but the, the way it, I like uh, Matriarch way better because it can block very well at every level, whereas this can only block once. The Matriarch can block twice if you really need it to. And you're guaranteed to get its token. Uh, best card is Swing Strength. Then we got... Best card's probably Forge Guardian Beta. Do I want to try and... How many cards do I have left? Ten cards and I have... Four Alloyan cards? I usually only like having five of a faction. An off-color faction. One, two, three. No, I have five right now. Hmm. Hmm. So do I abandon the, the Patron of Deep Blood? I think Forge Guardian Beta is like... Decent enough card that I can just go to six. I don't take Blading Wave. Okay, I'm, I'm jumping ship from this Patron plan. Uh, they're still going to take the Grave Patriarch because it's the best card in the pack. I don't. I still prefer it over Scottish Portillary. I'm probably going to make this pick every single time. Um, This one is between Matriarch and Vault Intruder. I don't think I have any creatures with seven power other than that Oxen Spitter and a Patron. And I've got. Yeah, so it's really tempting to just take the uh, Vault here, but I'm going to take the Matriarch uh, because it works really well with my Herd Mother, and that's just a very solid card. I don't know if this pick is right, but it is what I'm going for. Bartok. Oh, I forgot, I forgot about the Bartok I have earlier. I take the Tower Scout, then the... I have no way to give my creature the armor, right? Maybe I just take Sap and... 
So I like Sap. I think it's a lot more useful than Tower Vanguard, even though Sap's not a good card by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the one thing Sap does well is stop me from dying to like big Deep Branch Prowlers or big Necromevas or stuff like that. Uh, ooh, Damara's Pit Guard, a very strong card. Very, very strong card. Uh, it's huge at rank 1, and then it's decently sized at ranks 2 and 3, and it poisons whatever is in front of it, which means it basically kills whatever, whatever is in front of it. Um, Meditative Reactor is not that great in my deck, but it is a 6-5 that levels a lot better than the other 6-5 creatures in this pack. <laughs> I just have to be sure not to play it in formation, because I don't want my creatures to lose abilities. Uh, though I guess I have a Crucible Colossus that can make loses abilities. And then I could take the Horde Gurney Alpha. Is that better than Torgmai Mender though? Probably not. Uh, Torgmai Mender is... Actually, I probably should have taken the uh, Tuscan Grovekeeper just to have a 6 power Uterra creature. I just picked a lot of Aloyan because I realized I was abandoning the, the Patron. Okay, so I've got Mender versus Alpha here. Uh, Flow Steel Carrier, not a consideration because the only robot I have is Anvil Enforcer, which is a card I'm never looking to play. So, on one hand, Mender saves my creatures and levels okay. It's a really, really small creature at every rank, but its effect is very strong. Uh, Forge Guardian Alpha is just kind of a good leveled card. I can't really attack with it. Yeah, I'll just take the Mender. Take another Twin Strength. Yeah, I think Twin Strength is good. I can go pretty aggressive with the Big Bad Bartok Twin Strength. Uh, and take the Guitar Spray just as a heroic. And it's also it's just the better card there. Uh, kind of disappointed it didn't get any Spring Dryads, but my deck isn't actually that good. Uh, these Big Bad Bartoks, the Patron, and the Deep Branch Agent just kind of make my deck really bad. <laughs> like the heroics I picked up. Uh, they were definitely better cards in each of those packs. <sighs> but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. I can still win games off of Damara's Pick Guard and just Forge Guardian Beta late game. Or uh, even like uh, Herd Mother, Ordnance Captain, stuff like that. Uh, if I can establish board presence and then keep it, I think I'd be able to win. But if I if I fall behind, I don't really have any real good ways to catch up. So I just have to make sure not to fall behind. 